Okay, it's uh, the next day. It's time to clean the edges up. So all I'm going to do is uh, leave the padding plane on and come down with the cutter. And uh, that'll be my guide. So I'll just go around and uh, do that. Then we'll sand the tops. Get the get these uh, sharp bits off, and we'll be good to go. So I'm just going to uh, sand all these. Okay, this should uh, split off real easy. It looks like uh, I was a little thin on the uh, ends with the uh, parting plane. But... There we go, it's double-sided tape what kept that in there. Alright, now we'll flip it upside down. We'll start removing all this stuff in here. I could have done a better job of that, but anyhow. Okay, let's... Hey folks, uh, I'd like to thank you for getting me to 502 subscribers. So I've got uh, 498 to go before I uh, get monetized, which would really be helpful because these things are super expensive to uh, produce and uh, to make. The material prices have just gone through the roof. And uh, it'd be nice if I could uh, actually make a little income to pay for some of this. And uh, I just want to thank you all because uh, it's, it's you guys which, uh, make it happen and i just want to bring some nice content to you and expand the uh the uh, channel and have some really cool builds so that's the goal in the near future is uh build some really nice planes with lots of uh cool features thanks again uh smash that subscribe button the uh like the video if you do like it and i'm doing a good job and uh, ring that bell and be notified. Again, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. So you can see that now we don't have to do parting planes again because the first layer of uh, cloth that we put on the top side creates the parting planes for the bottom. So the only thing we have to do now there's a little bit of cleanup and to get our dots out, which is just a matter of uh, sticking something sharp in them, pulling them up. Silicone does not stick to epoxy. Or is that the other way around? I guess epoxy sticking to silicone. And they have come out lovely. Yeah, it's uh, something you want to remember to take out right away because I have forgotten sometimes to take these buggers out and then you end up in a dilemma. So now it's just a matter of going along and removing the clay. So now I'm just clearing out the clay. I've got a very, very small chisel type thing. 
not very sharp. I'm just going to go gently down the seam and remove as much as I can because this is what's going to give you your parting line between the top and the bottom so you don't want to gouge it out or anything. But one good thing about this is being a leading edge, it's very, very easy to sand down because once you put the molds together, the glue or the splooge, as I call it, to join the two halves will squeeze out and uh, you'll be able to just sand it and any damage here will just be uh, vanished. First thing is, I've uh, I've got the clay off, or most of it. So even though you don't see it, there's PVA all over this thing, uh, especially on the parting plane. So we need to uh, clean those up with some water. And uh, you don't want to soak it because you don't want it going in between the seam of the plug and uh, the parting plane, because that's your perfect seal right there. I know a lot of guys, for some reason, they make a mold and then they remove the plug from the mold. And I don't get that because you lose the quality of the seam. So, you know, they, they take it out, they'll redo the wing, and uh, it's just, I don't know, it's ridiculous to me. You want to keep your mold in one place with the plug in it until uh, you've got the two halves made, and then you split them, then you take the plug out, and that way everything aligns up to the dots. Your alignment dots these guys here you know so i've got them here, here and here now i've put the dots on the outside because i'm going to be vacuum bagging this wing so i want to have a nice uh, flat smooth surface to uh get a good seal for the vacuum bagging now there shouldn't be any pva underneath here but just in case some oh, got in there, we'll give it a little clean off. And then we're going to go over and check for glue damage, masking tape damage, and any uh, strands of hot glue, which can tend to be kind of invisible until you laying it up then all of a sudden it stands out like a sore bloody thumb so that's what we're gonna do so for these dots i'm gonna get a q-tips in there not that it matters so much with these dots but if there is a little bit of PVA on, even though it's, you know, thousandths of an inch, it can actually put you out of alignment a little bit. So, for the time it takes just to clean these out a little bit, it's well worth it. See the green? Which means there's PVA on them. All right. And then I'm going to come down here with some Windex, which will uh, help clean it up again a bit more. So this time I'm going to put it on the paper towel to reduce the risk of seepage between my parting plane and the uh, plug. And the reason I'm using the white paper towels is because of that. See where it's blue?
Okay, the big moment's come. This is the right wing, and we're going to uh, separate the mold. So first we have to trim it. There we go. So let's crap out of the way. So first thing I like to do is go around the edges and a quick sand. This gets all the uh, spiky bits off. Otherwise there'll be blood all over the place. And Okay, here we go. Uh, right. Just a little, little bit of sawing in this corner. Don't get this off. I'm gonna problem separating it. I want a clean break. That looks good. And there we go. This should do it, I think. All right, moment of truth. Let's see. Then we'll start at the front. Try and find the joint. There we go. Gently, bently, just easing it in. So far, so good. Coming around, just ease her up around the perimeter. Now this side. Looks good. Bit of damage here. I expected that. Okay, now, can we get this out? Good sign is when all these little details uh, stay on. Looks like we didn't damage the uh, plug so far, but the day's not over. Let's see. Just ease it down and gently bently. Now, because I damaged that end, <clears throat> I'm going to come from the root and lift it. Oh dear. That I didn't want to happen. Oh, good. And the detail still on. So, did we get it? I believe we did. I believe we have a successful mold. <coughs> Needs cleaning. But uh, look at this. Oh, come on.
So if the other one's half as good as this, we're in good shape. All right, I'll clean her up and we'll take a look at her. As you can see, I've uh, sanded the top and bottom halves on the outside of the mold. Uh, it's best to do this right up front, otherwise you're going to get some spiky bits in your uh, hands, which are like splinters and just terrible things to get out. Uh, I've also uh, just pre-sanded down with uh, some very fine wet paper the two, uh, the three damaged areas that were from the uh, previous layout. And uh, when I did the second half of the uh, mold, it formed perfectly, so we got a nice fit. Even though it doesn't look it in the video, it came out real sweet. And you do not see it in the uh, finished wings at all, because we have made a, uh, a set of composite wings uh, just to test fit and try out and everything. Now, I did lose audio in this uh, video, as usual, so this is just an audio lay, and where my finger's pointing now is where those uh, voids were. Uh, they just came out great, and the way I did that, I just simply picked out the loose bits from the air bubble, and uh, taped it, and threw in some uh, clear resin after sanding and scuffing it, and just let it dry, then I just sanded it flush, and that was it. So, thanks very much for watching, and uh, we'll move on to the control surfaces and the belly pan. Thanks again.